Local councillors in practice are accountable to nobody. They're public-spirited citizens, selflessly sacrificing their spare time. Have you ever met any? Occasionally, when there was no alternative. <laughs> half of them are self-centred busybodies on an ego trip, and the other half are in it for what they can get out of it. Uh, perhaps they ought to be in the House of Commons. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to see how a proper legislative assembly behaves. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to get a grip on them. I have a plan. You have a plan? <laughs> yes. I'm going to insist that any local official who puts up a plan costing more than say, £10,000, must accompany it with failure standards. With what? With a statement <laughs> saying that he will have failed if his project does not achieve certain preset results <laughs> or exceeds <laughs> fixed time or staff or budget limits. Minister, where did you get the idea for this dangerous nonsense? From someone in the department. Minister, I have warned you before about the dangers of speaking to people in the department. <laughs> I implore you to stay out of the minefield of local government. It is a political graveyard. Uh, but excuse me, Sir Humphrey, you cannot have a graveyard in a minefield <laughs> because all the corpses would... <laughs>